Here we go. We are all ready for two weeks in the van. So yeah, we've got all the drawers loaded up. We've got food all in here, a very heavy drawer, all our plates, cups. We've managed to fit everything we need in the fridge. So yeah, kayak and stuff, carrier pram, beds, dog. We're all good to go. And we've just turned on our phone to try and look at the directions to find out where we're going. And we know it's meant to take four and a half hours, but it's telling us it's gonna take five hours and 42 minutes. It's chucking us over onto the A1 instead of the M6. Um, and I've just Googled, and apparently there's been a serious accident on the M6 southbound near Cheshire, which means that it's now closed. So we've got to make that call. Do we just go the A1 or do we hope that they've opened the road again? Or will, is that just a bad idea? We'll see. Right, so decision has been made and we are sticking to our original route. And if you've been following our Instagram, you'll know exactly the route that we are referring to. So yeah, the uh, A66 was quite busy at the junction so we just decided to stay on so we are traveling down the m6 and we've just checked on google and it's now saying four hours and 30 minutes so fingers crossed we've made the right decision there we are so we're just hitting some traffic see uh how long this drive is actually going to take us Just after sweeties, that was a long old drive, wasn't it? How'd you feel, Pip? <laughs> Tired. Tired. Absolutely brutal, yeah. So that took us basically 11 hours. So good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good morning. Good. So it's our first day. Um, after arriving in the Cotswolds, we have come to Woodchester Park. Yeah. Apparently there's lots of nice walks here, so we're going to head out for a little walk. We didn't have the best night's sleep. Um, it was a long day driving and I think it just threw Teddy off a bit with them um, sleeping so much during the day. So fresh start today and we're hoping for a better night's sleep tonight too. Sunday morning and we've just been chilling out at the campsite which has been really nice because we're usually all go 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 so it's been really nice to actually just take it easy do what we need to do have a nice breakfast Richard um, tried his hand at eggy bread this morning that was semi successful the fire alarm might have gone off once <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was really nice. So, and the kids have just been playing um, dominoes outside the van with Richard as well, which is quite nice just to take that bit of downtime. So we're now just heading out for a walk. The river is supposedly close by, so I'm just going to see how far it actually is. We're looking for a river. Oh, 
Charlie, wait, no, 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 no. Let me go over it that way. Anyone, anyone see anything? Can I have a look, Jack? How do you know? Ah, oh, the wonders of Google. But I think, let's possibly have a wonder this way. <laughs> We're gonna get lost in the corn! <laughs> Right, here we go. Would you rather have jelly hands or jelly feet? We can't really... Jelly feet? <laughs> jelly <Like> feet? <laughs> you might not be able to walk very well. How? Because your feet would be like jelly. <laughs> then we have to eat. Eat your feet? Yeah. Right, what about you, Jack? Jelly feet or jelly hands? Jack? Do you know why I'm not seeing jelly hands? Why? Because then, when well, you pick it up, it always wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> because you don't have these little things, because then you can just do that. Yeah, and that's true. Hands can't. Okay. That's why I choose to. Hmm. Right, any other questions? Can you think of any, Pip? Uh, would you lose a banana for your nose? <laughs> a banana for your feet? Banana for my nose or banana for my feet? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. I'll choose. A banana for my feet. You'd rather have banana feet? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That, like little well <laughs> That's true. Well, true. What about you, Jack? Banana nose or banana feet? Banana head. Banana head. Morning. So today we're heading to Western Burt Arboretum. So we're just going to drop Charlie off. He's having his own little holiday for the day. Charlie here. He's come to Hydegate Pet Resort. Which is there. Looks like a gorgeous place. <laughs> Get him, Dad. <laughs> Richard and the kids are on a bit of a mission. Last time we came away in the van, we lost a hat. This time, what have we lost, Ted? <laughs> Where's your sock? Where did it go? Where did your sock go? Is it on the floor? Is it? Have they got it? Have they got it? I think they've got your sock, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got your sock? Who's got yours? Oh, a snack. <laughs> Did you find it, Jack? Daddy. Daddy. Where's the sock? What have you got, Pip? <laughs> <laughs> we got the sock. Ted. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, hello. Let me go. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Carry on, Jack. <laughs> After walking around half the arboretum, we decided it was time for a bite to eat. Now, with a van full of food, what do you do? You decide to eat out at the on site restaurant. What can I say? We are easily tempted when it comes to food. What is actually this called? Sound. Sound. San Peregrino. Yeah, Pellegrino. San yeah. Peregrino. Okay. Yeah, San Peregrino. San Peregrino. Whoop whoop on it today. <laughs> you got to pour it in your glass. I'm sorry, I'm a commoner.
Hello, so it's our last day in the Cotswolds and today we are going to be climbing the highest hill in the Cotswolds. So we're just getting ready to go. We arrived at the car park fairly early this morning and then we had breakfast, brushed our teeth when we got here. So yeah, just ready to head out and see the views. Let's get going. do a hill walk whilst here in the Cotswolds. Decided to do Cleve Hill, which I think is about 330 meters. So even though it's the tallest hill in the Cotswold, it's actually quite small compared to our usual Lake District area that we, we walk. And in true fashion, we came off the path and I think we ended up walking on a golf fairway. So lucky that we didn't get hit by any golf balls, I think. Uh, we'll have to do a head count once we're at the top. It's not bad views from the top here. So there we are. We have just walked up the highest hill in the Cotswolds. Didn't walk from the bottom to the top, but we still got to the top. So that's what matters and we enjoyed the views. All right, so now we're going to head back to the van, have some lunch and go to Borton on the water. I think I said that right. It's Borton or Burton. We'll go to Borton. It didn't take us long to realise that whilst Broughton on the Water is a very pretty place, the crowds of people meant it really wasn't our cup of tea. So we've just arrived at Stowford Manor Farm. Looks kind of nice. We're going to be here for two nights. It's just outside Trowbridge. Um, we're seeing family here, so that's that's all good. That'll be fun. <laughs> So if you want to see a little dose of van life reality, here we go. The absolute mess in here this morning. It's quite impressive really. There we go. Little spin around. Clothes everywhere, stuff everywhere. So today is actually the first day so far where we're not actually driving anywhere. Hence why we've got the uh, little canopy out and we've sort of set up a bit more outside this time because we won't have to actually move the van. Jack, um, so yeah, it'd be nice just to have a chilled out day really. No plans at the minute it's almost, I think it's almost, well it's just gone 11. So I think we've even still got to do our makeup, brush our teeth and um, tidy up, well, you know you yeah, at least tidy up. <laughs> All right, so I just got the kayak up and Richard is just ready to 
take Jack out down by the river. See what it's like. Yeah. Do we need the GoPro? What do you need, Jack? You want the GoPro? So we gotta go kayaking. Okay. So just come down here by the river. That's behind us. Looks like there's a, a, a lock gate or something stopping us going that way, but we're gonna head down this way. So we've just come down a little bit and it is pretty awesome. It's unlike anything we've kayaked before, so it's something a bit different. I'm going right into this tree now, so the camera's a bit wobbly. There's a fish, I just saw a fish, which was nice. And the campsite is literally right there. You can see a motorhome there. You might be able to see a bit of blue, which is our tarpaulin through there. And the girls. See you later. Me and Jack are gonna go for a paddle now. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Uh, stunning river, very quiet. Beautiful. What are you up to, Jackie? Climbing. Climbing. Do not go in the water. Okay, Jack. I'll see you later, okay? No, but I'm going. I can't. No. I'm joking. I'm joking. The heavens have absolutely opened. It is really bad out here at the minute. Hopefully the ground is pretty firm and we can get out in the morning. What are you up to, babe? Things. Womanly things, <laughs> whatever. Growing up. She acts like she does everything. Good morning. <laughs> right, that's it. That's week one of our two week vacation done. So we're just getting ready now to head to our next destination. Make sure you tune in and watch the next episode.